Hello there. We're just at the end of August. And I'm just starting to clear these bedding plants that I put in some time ago. It's just in the last couple of weeks, they've really started to fade, irrespective of how much water you give them. And it doesn't seem that long ago since I sowed these in a little tray in my kitchen and I saw them germinate and then I pricked them out and thinned them out and potting them on and planting them in here when it was warm enough and there was no danger of any frost. And the only place for them now, unfortunately, is a compost heap. And I can't believe it was only six months ago that I stood here, oh yeah, blimey, and introduced the very first proper DIY garden series. And we're six months later, it's come to the end of the summer, and 24 videos later, this is the very last in that series. So I thought I'd show you some of the things that went well, some of the things that didn't go so well, and remind us some of the work involved. So for the very last time, run the garden series intro. One of the most viewed and commented on subjects in the garden series was our new piece of land and the projects and videos that I made around it. This is half an acre of land we purchased at the back of our garden just after the series started, which used to have a pony in it, but now just needs tidying up and sorting out. I started by turning the frame of the old stable into a large compost heap using pallets I'd been collecting for some time. With the amount of trees, foliage and grass I now have around the property, I guessed that I'd need a large compost bin to hold all the cuttings and waste, so it seemed sensible to get it built as soon as possible. To open up the view from the house, I next turned my back fence from a six foot close boarded fence to a three foot post and rail fence by taking off the boards and cant rails and cutting down the posts and then fixing new two by four rails. This has really changed the view from the back of our house for the better and now just feels it's always been that way. Although I did this project back in May and if you remember that was in the days when we used to have rain. One area in the paddock though with the most potential is the outbuildings which have all seen better days and now need rebuilding. And of course the highlight, which is the barn, which had viewers wanting to see what was inside it right from the first time I showed it on video. When I did finally get in, unfortunately there was no vintage roller or Lamborghini hiding in there. But what there was, was many personal items from a family who lived here some years ago. And going through their possessions and their personal documentation just seemed like everything was frozen in time.
Anyway, the opportunities are all in the future rather than the past. So you would have already seen me starting to renew the roof of an adjacent outbuilding. And very soon you'll see the completion of that project where I install the new timbers and galvanized roofing with the help of a friend of mine. And I must admit, I've really quite enjoyed having the paddock to play with and plan over this summer period. Although it is definitely a long-term project. And that's something else I've learned over the summer is that a lot of the projects I've taken on, you can't necessarily finish just in one season. You can't expect plants to grow and fill spaces just in one year. So a lot of the things I've taken on is really going to take some time before they really flourish and a few years in some cases before I really get to where I want to be. Anyway, talking about this compost heap, I'm so glad I built a large compost heap. This has been so useful over the last few months. I've accumulated so much rubbish to go in here as well. And obviously in the next few weeks, I'll put some pallets on this side and turn all of this into here as well. A lot of it is grass clippings, I must say, because when I do cut the grass, I do end up with quite a lot of grass cuttings as well. And that reminds me, one of the big items during the summer this year has been my lawn. So go back and have a look to see how it started and all the work that went into it. Making a good lawn relies on lots of different things like using the right seed and fertilizer, but having the right type of lawnmower is, I think, absolutely key to the end result. So at the beginning of the season, I purchased this Alec Kensington 20 inch wide cylinder mower. Having a new mower like this turn up is an exciting thing if you're like me and keen to get your lawn looking good and it had an immediate positive effect on the grass with its clean cut and large wide stripes but then also highlighted how bumpy the ground was underneath. So on with making a lawn loot which would help me spread a sand soil mix evenly across my lawn to help get it flat. I really enjoyed carrying out some metal work for a change rather than working on timber and after this project I quite fancy trying my hand at some welding which is something that I've never done before. I then installed my DIY sprinkler system, which I didn't know at the time how useful it was going to become later in the summer with the complete lack of rain in the UK. With the watering system in place, I could now start the levelling process by spreading two tonnes of sand lawn mix over the grass, which I did firstly to the big depressions that were obvious to see, and then across the rest of the lawn, levelling it all with the rake and my new lawn loot. With the sand in place, I then reseeded and spent a couple of weeks making sure that it was watered well every day. And this is a shot from a few weeks later where you can really see the benefit of reseeding. And although the lawn isn't completely flat yet, I probably took out 90% of the lumps and bumps, which meant that the Alec mower could really shine and do what it does best. The other area that's changed a huge amount during the summer, but I didn't quite get to where I wanted to be, is this area. This is the jungle garden 
or the sort of tropical garden. I've put a lot of time and effort into this, including the green wall and the barrels and the planting as well. But it's clear to me once again that you can't necessarily do everything just in one season. But I am looking forward to gradually transforming this area. And now I think this is really a three or four year project and it's only really just begun. This area I've had earmarked for a makeover for some time because the ground is on a slope and the fence is, well, not vertical. So I decided to build a fence on the inside of the current one using new posts concreted into the ground exactly halfway between the existing posts. In the centre of the fence I decided to make an integral green wall utilising some existing posts which are made vertical by gluing and screwing on some ironically called timber plants, that's what they're actually called, to the face and the top. With some treated timber roofing battens and some heavy duty weed control fabric fixed to the posts, I could then fill the pockets with compost and plant a hundred or so plants that I've been propagating since early spring just for this wall. Before finishing the rest of the wall, I installed water and armoured electric cables for future connections to the paddock area and then close boarded it with the materials I took down from my back fence a few weeks earlier. This proved to be no easy task as I finished it on the hottest recorded day in the UK ever. A few weeks later, with some help from my friends at waterirrigation.co.uk, I fitted a water drip system onto the green wall, which by now was starting to fill out nicely. People keep telling me talking to plants is good for them, so just remember what I'm saying, okay? So I hope you've enjoyed the garden series over the last six months and you've followed me through some of the projects. I must say, it's been an awful lot of work, but at the same time, I've really, really enjoyed it. In some ways, it's a bit of a shame it's coming to an end. As you can imagine, out of the 24 videos, what you've just seen is really just a small percentage. So I thought I'd finish off with a bit of a montage of the best bits out of the other videos against some of my favourite music that was in the fencing video as well. So sit back and enjoy the next three minutes and maybe next year we'll do it all over again. I'll see you next time. And remember, it's a compost heap if you don't grow, okay? <laughs>